Captain Benjamin Sisko is one of the most important characters in all of Star Trek. But how old was he exactly during the Deep Space Nine show? Well, in this video, we will figure out Sisko's age before, during, and after the years he was in command of Deep Space Nine. So make sure to keep watching until the end because we've got a really interesting part about how old Sisko was after he joined the Timeless Prophets aliens. Did becoming one of the Prophets mean Sisko stopped aging like a normal human? Well, we'll talk about that weird situation later. But first, let's talk about a brief history on who is Captain Sisko. Sisko was born in New Orleans to Joseph Sisko, who owned a restaurant. But here's the weird part. His birth mother, Sarah, was controlled by alien beings from the Bajoran wormhole when she had Sisko. The aliens made Sarah marry Joseph just so Sisko could be born. Two days after Sisko's first birthday, the alien left Sarah's body. A few years later, Sarah died in an accident. Joseph got a new wife who raised Sisko like her own son, along with Sisko's sister Judith and brothers. Sisko did not know about the alien stuff until he was an adult. In 2350, Sisko joined Starfleet Academy. During his second year, he met a woman named Jennifer on a beach in New York. They got married and had a son named Jake. When Sisko was a young officer, he was taught by a joint trill alien named Curzon Dax. The joint trill thing became important later on when Sisko worked with Jadzia Dax and Esri Dax. Sisko served on the USS Okinawa under Captain Layton. Layton made Sisko an executive officer because he was a good leader. Sisko and Layton fought against the Zenkethi aliens together. Later, Sisko became the first officer on the USS Saratoga. In 2367, the Saratoga was one of 40 ships fighting the Borg at Wolf 359. The Borg took over Captain Picard. Only one ship survived and 11,000 people died, including Sisko's wife, Jennifer. After that, Sisko worked at building new anti-Borg ships like the USS Defiant. He was then promoted to captain while on an episode called The Adversary. The Prophet's Chosen One When Sisko was sent to the space station, Deep Space Nine, some very strange things happened involving the Bajoran religious beliefs. On his first visit to Bajor, an important Bajoran leader named Kai Opaka called Sisko the Emissary of the Prophets and gave him a special Bajoran artifact called an orb. The magical orb led Sisko and his crew to find the first known stable wormhole that went all the way to the distant Gamma Quadrant. Inside this wormhole lived weird alien beings that existed outside of normal time. The very religious Bajoran people believed these aliens were their legendary prophets. When Sisko first met the Prophet aliens, it was confusing for both sides, but it made Sisko finally deal with still being sad about his wife dying and being mad at Picard. Sisko came to accept his role as the emissary that the Bajoran Prophets had chosen. The Prophets even made an entire Dominion fleet disappear to protect Sisko before his special destiny was complete. In the end, Sisko had to fight an evil-possessed villain named Ducat. After winning, Sisko was then absorbed into the Prophet's realm but said he would return someday to his pregnant wife, Cassidy. War Struggles and Hard Choices Since Deep Space Nine was right at the wormhole entrance, Sisko played a huge part in the war against the Dominion forces from the Gamma Quadrant. His old mentor, Admiral Layton, had turned bad, trying to take over the Federation government illegally. Sisko exposed Layton's treacherous plan. Later, Sisko helped his friend Garrick create a fake hollow program, making it look like the Dominion wanted to attack Romulus. The idea was to trick the Romulans into joining the war against the Dominion, but things went wrong and Garrick had to kill someone to make the plan work. Sisko was disturbed he had to overlook murder, but decided stopping the entire Alpha Quadrant from losing was worth the sacrifice. Captain Sisko left for the Celestial Temple. The final episode, The Deep Space Nine, built up to an epic two-part battle that was massively important both for the entire galaxy and for spiritual reasons. Captain Sisko led the Federation and its allied forces in a huge air attack against the last remaining Dominion enemy troops. After this decisive victory, even the Dominion's top leader admitted defeat and surrendered. But at the same time, the evil Kai Wen had lured the villainous Gold Ducat into a trap. She wanted him to be sacrificed so she could connect with dark aliens being called the Paw Race, the opposite of the prophet Sisko followed. Sisko arrived just in time to defeat both Wynn and Ducat. 
However, instead of being allowed to go home to his son, Jake, and pregnant wife Cassidy like he wanted, the prophets told Sisko he had a new duty. Now that his role for Bajor was finished, he had to join the prophets in their celestial temple realm. Now, I know most fans always ask, what happened to Captain Sisko after Deep Space Nine? Captain Sisko's ultimate fate was left somewhat mysterious after he followed the prophets into the celestial temple realm. However, the stories of his incredible adventures were then expanded in the comic book continuations from IDW. Picking up where the TV series ended, the comic Star Trek No. 1 has Sisko returning to command and working alongside beloved characters like Dr. Beverly Crusher, Data, Spock, and even Worf. After joining the Prophets, Sisko has ascended to a godlike level of power comparable to the omnipotent and mischievous Q. The March 2023 comic series Star Trek Defiant explores Sisko grappling with the responsibilities and risks of his newfound abilities. Despite having near unlimited cosmic power at his disposal, he still remembers the harsh tolls and casualties of war, striving not to let his new ascended state make him lose touch with his humanity and values. And now to the question that you've all been waiting for, just how old is Captain Sisko in Star Trek Deep Space Nine? Benjamin Sisko's birth year is well established in Star Trek canon, allowing us to calculate his precise age during the events of Deep Space Nine. The series began in 2369, just three years after the devastating battle of Wolf 359 where Sisko lost his wife Jennifer. At that point, Sisko was 37 years old when he took command of the eponymous space station. Deep Space Nine then chronicled approximately six years of Sisko's life and career over its seven-season run. In the series finale, What You Leave Behind, in 2375, the 43-year-old Sisko made the ultimate sacrifice, surrendering his corporeal form to defeat his nemesis, Gold Ducat, and prevent the release of the malevolent Pa race. Sisko's reward was ascending to join the nonlinear prophets in their metaphysical celestial temple realm. This raised the fascinating question of whether Sisko's human aging process was suspended in this transcendent state of existence, alongside the timeless prophets that he had served as the emissary to Bajor. Captain Sisko's age after DS9? It's tricky. Figuring out how old Captain Sisko was after the Deep Space Nine finale gets very confusing. At the end, the 43-year-old Sisko sacrificed his physical body to stop the evil Gold Ducat. As a reward, Sisko joined the timeless beings called the Prophets and their celestial temple. But the Prophets do not experience time in a normal linear way like humans do. They exist outside of the regular flow of aging and years passing. So when Sisko became one of the Prophets, the normal human process of getting older year by year likely stopped mattering to him. Even though his physical body died at age 43 on Bajor, Sisko's inner consciousness kept living eternally alongside the Ageless Prophets. The progression of calendar years don't really apply to this new transcendent existence. However, the Star Trek timeline kept moving forward after Deep Space Nine ended. In the recent show Star Trek Picard taking place in the 2400s, if we calculate Sisko's age strictly by the number of years passing, he would theoretically be around 75 years old. Interestingly, this happens to match the real-world age of the actor Avery Brooks, who played Sisko and was 75 in 2023 when the new Picard season came out. One fan said the fact that Star Trek went out of its way to portray a single black man raising a child on his own while also taking his career so seriously did an amazing service to the black community. I agree hands down. As much as I love Archer from Enterprise, Ben Sisko is the best Starfleet captain ever portrayed on TV thus far. I would go as far as to say he is one of the best characters and definitely one of the best black characters portrayed on TV ever. Another fan said, In the episode The Reckoning, when Dax asked Sisko how he knows the Prophet would kill the Paw Wraith, possessing Jake and not Jake himself, the way Sisko says, I know, almost made me believe in the damn Prophets. Brooks is a criminally underrated actor, Sisko is a criminally underrated captain, and DS9 remains Star Trek's most criminally underrated show. Now, if you enjoyed this, please click on this link as we have a look at Star Trek Strange New World Season 3 cast reveals secrets about themselves. Uh